Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Vishaland and Timur Rajabov. This is a game for the Norway Chess Tournament 2022. Aland had white pieces and he started with e4. Rajabov played e5. Knight to f3, knight to c6. Bishop to c4, the Italian game. Bishop to c5. c3, intending d4, maybe. Knight to f6, and now d3. d6, spinning the knight, asking a question. Bishop to h4. a5, knight from b to d2. Bishop to a7, castling. Black to move. g5, unpinning. Very sharp move, but these moves can be sometimes risky. Bishop to g3, Rajabo castled kingside 2. Rook to e1, knight to h7, intending h5, and then h4, trapping the bishop. And I played d4, queen to f6, bishop to b5, h4, bishop to h2, g4. h takes on g4, bishop takes on g4. Bishop takes on c6, b takes on c6, queen to a4, h3, and now bishop to g3, queen to h6, g takes on h3, queen takes on h3. The black queen and the bishop are so close to the white king. So, how should white continue? What would you do? And unplayed the best move, rook to e3. You will see shortly why this is the best move. Bishop to d7, it is white to move. And we have reached the critical position of the game. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this amazing move? Knight takes pawn on e5. What is this move doing? Let's see. D takes on e5. And now, bishop takes on e5. Discovered attack on the black queen. Queen to h5. Rook to g3. Check. Bishop to g4. White move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Is f3 a good move? No. What's wrong with this move? Well, in this case, black would take the bishop on e5 with the queen. And the pawn is pinned. So let's take it back. Most of the time it is a good idea to attack a pinned piece with a pawn, but not in this case. That is why Alain played queen to d1, and Rajabov resigned. For the time and purpose, I will show you just one line. f5, and then pawn takes pawn. If rook takes on f5, what happens then? Then the simplest way to continue is queen takes on g4. And after queen takes queen, rook takes queen check, and white should be easily winning. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess, and bye for now.